Uh, my name is uh, Daniel Warren Johnson. I'm a comic artist and illustrator based in Chicago, and uh, this is my studio space. Uh, I was born in uh, just a little west of Boston, Massachusetts. Oh, okay. I went to college at North Park University, north side of Chicago. Um, and then a job landed in my lap to be an art teacher at a middle school in Albany Park. Mm -hmm. um, and it's just like, I didn't have to do any work to get it. It's just like, someone's like, I'm leaving. Do you want the job? Because I'll put in a reference for you. Mm -hmm. I was like, well, okay. Um, it was middle school art teaching position, and it was like the worst year of my life. <laughs> and like my first day, a, a kid stabbed a girl in the head with a with a big mechanical pencil. Mm. And literally, pfft, there's like blood spurting, and I'm like calling security and like holding a paper towel to her head. Everybody's like, and then from then on, it was just downhill. It was downhill from there. I kept their art for them in these folders that had their names on them, mm. and. Um, at the end of the year, I pass them back so they can have all their art projects to take home because I grade everything, everything's finished, take your projects home. And all the kids, ninety, literally 95% of the kids took their art and they just threw it in the trash. It's the whole week, a whole week of that. Every single class, getting up, taking their, art, taking their art and throwing it in the trash. And I couldn't do it. I couldn't do it anymore. I was like, I gotta try this. I gotta try doing things my own way. I gotta try and do my own stuff. I, I read Calvin and Hobbes, and the fluidity of that like brushwork, it's just like it's talk, it's it's intoxicating, um, and it's still something that inspires me to this day, um, and kind of where I get I think a lot of my sensibility because I'm a, I, I the way that I draw is pretty loose, pretty gestural, um, and the same for for the way I ink, and I. See you know, I, I think part of that is because I saw the kind of frenetic quality of Bill Watterson's artwork. Uh, well, so artistically, definitely Bill Watterson. Um, Sean Murphy, I, his, his, or his artwork is just so awesome. He's a huge, he's a huge inspiration. Also, his work ethic is really cool. Chris Samney's storytelling, even though I'm like so far away from what he's able to do, he's incredible. I really love really human stories that just kind of reach out to the audience without like even trying. Um, Sherman Alexie's uh, Real Life Stories of a Part-Time Indian. Yeah. That book is so good. I need to reread that. Yeah. So good. Uh -huh. um, things like that, kind of like almost slice of life things mm -hmm. that doesn't dumb down life at all. It just kind of presents it the way it is. Lord of the Rings is my favorite book of all time because it tells a tale that is very, very, very dark, but there's and there's sadness and there's death and decay and lust, deceit, bad things, terrible. But the there's still throughout the book there's a, a current of hope that you can't get rid of. My first superhero comic was Superboy, like a '90s Superboy with like the leather jacket. Yeah, but I remember my parents saw it because my grandparents got it for me. My dad saw it and he took it away from me because it was too violent. Also, there was some cleavage. That was a dark day. <laughs> to be fair, so my dad took that away from me, and I was, like, so mad. I was maybe 10, and my dad, he took it away. He's like, I'm going to get you some comics to replace this one. So he went to the comic book store by himself, picked out, like, three Spider-Man comics that had no action or violence in them whatsoever. <laughs> so my first Spider-Man comic ever, my first superhero comic, is the one, this amazing Spider-Man where J. Jonah Jameson's holding up photographs of Peter Parker as Spider-Man, and he's like, I know your secret identity. And I'm like, Dad, this is awesome, but there's literally no punching in this entire book. Thumbnail everything out. Um, make sure I've got everything laid out and where all the text is gonna go, like in a little, piece of paper and then from then you just take that right to an 11 by 17 piece of artwork uh, or a piece of paper and I just lay everything on top so I pencil everything on the same paper I build up all the figures and I ink on the same piece of paper as well so and then so I basically just thumbnail to finished paper very rough scripts and then I'll take that really 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 rough script print it out and I'll make thumbnails of the story. 
and then I will adjust as needed. Okay. Um, so sometimes things might change as I move from the script stage to the thumbnailing stage. It really depends on the organic kind of creation of it, you know, it really depends. Very rarely is there one set way that something comes out. So now that I know what it's like to do artwork, if I were to have to get a job at, I don't know, Whole Foods or some other place or whatever, I would make time for comics still, now that I know like the joy of it.